baba nataka unifunze kuzamia nitakufunza hiyo ni ahadi yangu kwako hivyo basi karibuni sana katika film speak jina langu andiruri kutoka african film center Now for close to two years, CP Chada has been working on the film Subira. And after 13 Kalasha Award nomination, the film is finally ready for the grand release. Now the African Film Center was invited for a private viewing and filed the following report. A moving story. A story based on a real life event. Subira. Subhanallah. A cheeky young girl raised in an orthodox Muslim society on a remote island of Lamu, Kenya. Her dream is to be free, but her mother wants her to follow traditions and learn to be an exemplary woman. Sipi Chada, the director and scriptwriter of the film, has had a life full of drama. Born and raised in India, she went to a boarding school at a very young age that shifted her self-expression. I felt abandoned by my mother, you know, and that's why the role of uh, Subira and her mother and them not getting on is so distinct. She was forced into an arranged marriage and moved to Kenya 21 years ago. I call Kenya the land of my redemption because when I came here, I was invested in Kenya in self-development, you know, healing myself and all that. Few years ago she was in the financial services but she decided to quit to pursue her passion in filmmaking by telling her story a form of therapy that has worked greatly for her When you follow your bliss doors will open where there were none After all was said and done the film is now ready for audiences all around the world I mean I got such a hearty clap I turned to my actors and I said oh my god I think we've been successful at this you know And the lucky few who had an opportunity to watch it went home happy and amused absolute perfection honestly in terms of cinematography in terms of the cast the story the music i think just all round in general it's an all round fantastic movie that the music the sound that came out of it was brilliant and for the actors and actresses behind this epic story had their own story to tell about the making of the film As the time I was shooting this movie I was going through my own personal struggles I can say a personal just journey let me not call them struggles and being in those being in that journey helped me a lot in identifying with this young girl I had to dig deep within my personal dynamics my relationships with my own father um and just understanding love in a family dynamic it took a lot of work to get into the character of an elderly Swahili extremely cultural woman who has a child and who is living a life full of conformity while well, the editor on the other hand had to go through months of editing and re-editing to ensure a clean swift cut we had to drop some scenes we had to shorten a couple of things because um when we did the first cut and then the second cut we played back and we were looking at the gaps and what doesn't propel the story to the next level and so we were just laying it off and yeah that's how we got to 99 minutes uh, i will tell guys to come on the 29th for the premiere it's happening at westgate it's definitely going to be everyone's favorite kenyan film if not everyone's favorite african movie Now do you want some Lamu action? Hmm? Listen to the music score in the film. Meet Brenda Wairimo, Nice Kidenji and the director herself CP Chad. Hmm? Do join them as they launch their film on the 29th of November at Westgate Mall. You are all welcome and do remember to subscribe to our YouTube page and get a lot more here from the African Film Center. My name is Andy Ruri with Film Speak. Till next time, it's bye-bye.